Looking for a great gift idea this Christmas? How about an RC airplane that comes with everything somebody needs to get started that a beginner can actually have success with for well under a hundred bucks? What's up everybody, you're watching Model Aviator, I'm Adam, and for those of you checking this out for the first time, I'm an experienced RC Model Aviator, I've been at this more years than I'd like to admit to be quite honest with you. We are very fortunate here on the channel, we get to fly a lot of different types of airplanes suited for all skill levels of pilots, but this week we're focused on one specific type of RC pilot, those of you that aren't yet. So with Christmas fast approaching, it's a good time to talk about this, and that is budget RC airplanes, budget RC trainers, $100 or less. You've been able to get RC airplanes for that price for quite some time, but over the years, there's a lot of junk out there and very few airplanes that you can actually have success with. Now, full disclosure, you can get way better trainers than even the airplane we're featuring today, but... Something like this Apprentice Stoll, this thing is north of $200. It comes with a bit more of a fancy transmitter that the whole airplane and system has a lot more capability. But the fact is, that is just simply not in the budget for everyone. A lot of people don't want to spend that much to just kind of dabble in this and see if they might like it. A lot of people looking for kind of an impulse gift aren't willing to spend $200. To let somebody try RC and that's where this price range comes into play but the problem is there's toy grade and there's hobby grade and there are big differences in those two development components and technology are the three things that are vastly different from a toy grade to a hobby grade trainer they don't put a whole lot of thought in a toy grade airplane they can't they're trying to sell something as cheap as they can they're not going to pay for a lot of labor to put a whole lot of thought into that. Just get it out, sell it. If it works great, if it doesn't, they really don't care. It's a money grab. When it comes to components, again, they're putting absolutely bottom of the barrel, the cheapest thing they can get in there, and it work at least for a few minutes when you take it out of the box. And technology. Sometimes there's technology to make these things easier for a beginner to fly but it doesn't really work that well. Somebody like me, I'm an experienced RC pilot. I can fly it successfully, but if you've never tried it, you can't. You go out and try to fly one of these toy grade airplanes, it's a clown show. That is where the hobby grade airplanes come into play. There's actual thought put into these things. They understand the hobby like I do, and they want you to have success. They use components good enough to last a while and they put technology in them to actually make it work and that is where this Duet S2 comes into play. This is the Hobby Zone Duet S2. It is sold by Horizon Hobby. It comes packed neatly in a protective box that doubles for storage and transport. You get the airplane, the transmitter, batteries for your transmitter, a one cell LiPo battery for your airplane and a convenient USB charger for that battery for your airplane and an instruction manual. This is the second version of the Duet to be produced. It's been recently updated with some technology it didn't have before. It is intended for people that have no knowledge whatsoever of how to fly an RC airplane and might not even have any general aviation knowledge whatsoever. It's meant to be that easy. The manual is an integral part of this. This is very well written. It takes you through step by step every single part of the process. How to charge your battery, how the airplane works, how the transmitter works, how to have success on your first day and how to fly the airplane. There's a good bit of instruction in here. And how to toggle between the two electronic modes that the Duet S2 now has. It has AS3X and SAFE. And that is technology that, by the way, when we were introducing ourselves to you when you first clicked on the video, the fancy airplanes you saw me flying, all those airplanes had that technology, and that technology is in the Duet. So AS3X would be the advanced mode. That's no limitations on the airframe. Whatever you move the sticks, the airplane does. So you can do loops, you can do wingovers, you can frankly get yourself into trouble if you're new and you're trying to fly it into that mode but the beauty of it is you can click this stick 
and that puts it in the second mode. That is safe mode or beginner mode. So you can be in this position. You flip it into that mode and let go of the stick, the airplane will self ride itself. That is the key in safe mode. In the safe mode or the beginner mode, pitch and bank angle are limited. So you can put in inputs that in the advanced mode would make the airplane do this right into the ground and it will just simply do a turn. You let go of the stick at any given time and the airplane rights itself and flies straight. That makes landing super simple. You just line it up in the direction you want to land it, let go of your right stick, bring the throttle down with your left stick and the airplane settles down and pretty much lands itself. Couldn't be simpler, couldn't be easier to have success. So in this price range, under $100, as an introductory airplane to this hobby to give you a bit of a taste of what is to come, if you decide to go further, you can't do better than the Duet and it is leaps and bounds better than any of the toy grade stuff out there. Okay, we're gonna get to the flight demo really quick, just a couple more details. Let's say you break one of these props or doink the tail or something like that on your duet. It is supported with parts availability through Horizon Hobby. That's another thing that separates this from the toy grade airplanes out there. Also, you can fly the duet indoors at a large gymnasium. For instance, in our demo, you're gonna see us do a little bit of flying in a parking lot, and that parking lot is smaller than about half the size of a basketball court, so just to give you an idea. We're gonna put a link in the description where you can go straight to Horizon Hobby and purchase a duet. When you go through that link, it helps our channel. We appreciate the support if you decide to go that route. We'll also put links for extra batteries, and the accessory 210 milliamp spectrum battery that will give you a bit more flight time and a little bit more power. So we're going to leave you with the flight demo. Enjoy that. Enjoy your upcoming holidays. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. Take care. All right, got our little duet here. I'm going to start out in the safe mode, which would be for a beginner, and I'll kind of talk you through what the airplane's doing. I'm going to hand launch it because if you're at a park, or something like that and the grass is thick it's not going to take off from the ground out of stuff like that you just hand launch it and kind of plop it in on the grass which is what we'll do here and my bank angle and pitch angle are limited so I can go right and left Watch what happens when I let go of the stick right now. It just writes itself. Let go of the stick right now. It writes itself. I can pitch up, let go of the stick. It writes itself. I can push down, let go of the stick. It writes itself. That's what makes it so easy for a beginner to learn. And this actually works because it's safe is a really great system. So if you get nervous, you just let go of the stick and that's what happens. It just simply writes itself and you're good to go. And to land, I'll just back off of the throttle. I'm gonna go ahead and actually go around a little bit more. And when I get over the grass and get it lined up with where I wanna to touch down, I'm just gonna back off the throttle and there you go. Here we're flying the duet at a local soccer field and we're going to put it in the more experienced mode and do a loop or two towards the end of this short flight. On the 150 milliamp battery that the Duet comes with, you can expect flight times of around four, maybe five minutes, depending upon your throttle usage. If you go to the accessory 210 milliamp spectrum battery, you can get six to seven.
So now we've got our duet in the parking lot so that we can take it off and land it from a smooth surface. We just wanted to show you that you can do that. I'm going to stay in the safe mode, the beginner mode to take off. I just throttle up, it takes off on its own. And it's going to climb under power. I'm going to back off the power a bit to maintain altitude and keep it from climbing. I'll do a couple of turns. I'll line it up with the area that I want to land in, and I'll just neutralize the control. It will straighten itself up. And then I simply back off the throttle slowly until it settles into the ground. Super simple. Check this out. somebody try RC and it actually works. Great gift idea.